Hey guys, welcome back to Swiss Watch Expo. Vlad is here, and today we're going to discuss the German watchmaking, specifically Langenzone, specifically their chronograph, uh, datograph. So stay tuned. So welcome back guys. As you know, we're going to discuss the datograph today and this watch is a very, very special for the industry and for Langenzone and overall uh, for like the watchmaking in the world. So we, we're going to be a little bit different because usually we discuss in the Swiss brands and the Langenzone and Glashut are part of the conglomerate that called Nomos. And this is the only brand that we carry that is outside of Switzerland. That, that's told you about like all the quality and stuff that they put in those watches. And today we're going to talk about this beautiful uh, platinum datograph from um, Langenzone. It's a stunning, stunning watch. Uh, and we talk, we're going to talk a little bit more about the history of Langenzone and the history of this specific piece because it's very, very important. So Langenzone have a very long history. They actually started this brand in the 1880s and then went out from business uh, after the World War II. But they also relaunched this company around the 1990s under the branch of the brands on Nomos that include Nomos, Glashute and other German brands uh, as alongside with uh, Langenzone. And the, what the most important in their history of this brand, in kind of like modern history of this brand, that in 1999 they launched the Datacraft. Uh, the name of this uh, lineup is very simple. They combine between date and chronograph. That's how it's come in the datograph. But the most important thing about this model is the movement that they uh, put inside of this watch. Uh, so this was the first luxury watch chronograph that made in-house by Brent. So uh, in comparison, the Patek Philippe made their in-house chronograph movement in 2005. Langezone made it in 1999. And at that time, it was very unusual for companies to use uh, like, or to develop their in-house chronograph movements because, first of all, it was very, very hard. And they also was using a lot of the value or ETA-based chronograph movement that was very easy and not as uh, cost effective. It was, was much more cost effective to use in their watches. Just was a little bit thing, just a little bit uh, uh, make sure that it will work with your timepiece. But they never actually did the full in-house chronograph movement. The first actually luxury watch, the uh, luxury brand who did it was Langenzone in 1999. And this movement was very, very special because first of all, they made it from scratch, from day one. Day one. And the fact that they did this movement uh, not based on the actual movement parts, but more based on design of a dial, which we're going to talk a little bit more, it's even more impressive because they did not create it just to work and keep accurate time and all the things that we want from the watch, but they actually made it and designed it specifically for the dial and vision that they have for the dial for this model. So let's talk more about the dial itself. So first thing that's very unusual for us is the dial layout. We are very um, familiar with like the vertical or uh, the horizontal chronograph uh, subdials. In this case, we have kind of like a triangle shape of this watch. And first thing that comes about uh, comes in mind when we talk about Langezone, it's a big date window. And there is a specific reason for it. It was actually inspired by uh, the cathedral uh, clock in Dresden. Um, it was made uh, with like two windows uh, that shows the hours and the minute with Roman numerals and Langezone decided to use it in their watches. And that was one of the main things that they decided to put in their timepieces. And that's where all other design features came from. So again, the cathedral clock uh, with uh, two big date windows that rotates and also two uh, subdials that form this triangle. And that's, the, that's what they have to work with when they created the movement. So they first made the dial design and then went to uh, creating the movement. Uh, what we have up here, it's actually the data graph up and down. So this is the second generation of this watch. The first generation that was launched in 1999 was a little bit smaller. It was a 39 millimeter versus the 41 millimeter in up and down. They also added the power absorption up and down so that now you can see how much power left in your watch. And they also bumped this power reserve significantly. So first model came with only 36 hour power reserve. This model already have a 60 hour power reserve. The movement is something especially uh, beautiful on this watch. It's it, it's the same with pretty much all Langenzone, but in this same piece, it's, it just goes to like certain levels that it's very, very hard to, to, to reach. The movement is consists of 405 parts. This is a lot. Usually watches consist of 200, maybe 300 parts. This is much more than you usually will see in those watches. And decoration of Langenzone is just 
special. It's very, very beautiful. You won't see it anywhere else. It's just stunning. Um, so if you are in the market for something special to your collection and you're looking for the chronograph that, first of all, will be historically important and also will uh, kind of be like a top watch in your collection, don't look over the data graph in Langenzona. It, this watch have a heritage, this watch have a look, this watch have a material because it's made from platinum. This watch even have a function that you won't see in other chronograph where you change your date without the crown but actually pushing this button at 10 o'clock. So all of that you won't see with any other brands, only with Langenzona, and we'll be happy to help you and discuss it. We have two of those watches, one in platinum and one in rose gold. So we'll be happy to talk to you and get this into your collection.